All right, this is probably going to be my uh, final video on this telescope, uh, the Celestron. This is my final thoughts on it. I love this telescope. It's not the $2,000 rig that you're going to get the best pictures from or anything, but as far as if you're starting out and you don't know what to look for, this thing will put you on it and you'll be able to see stuff that you're not going to be able to see with just a regular telescope. I highly suggest you getting a camera and actually modifying it, take the IR filters out of it. That's the only way you're really going to see these objects in the sky really good. Uh, from what I've seen on the internet, that these telescopes are pretty expensive new. But, if you get this telescope, you're going to use it. Or if you buy a cheap $150, $200 telescope, it's probably going to end up in the closet because you're going to be so disappointed. This thing has everything on this controller. It's got a, you can go to a list and go to named objects and it will, it give you everything that's in the night sky that you're, at that time, that you're out. And you just hit a button, it goes to it, you see it. Well, you really can't see it through that. Some of these images you can't see through the viewfinder. You have to have a camera. That's why I highly suggest you getting a cheap camera. You can get one without a lens, just the frame, on eBay for pretty cheap. And I suggest getting something like the 1000D. Easy to modify. Good starter camera. This, play, this camera's taking me through some journeys. And I really like it, and I'm ne I'll never get rid of it. But I've got my T6 going right now. I had trouble out of it, and it was out of focus on my right side. You'll see in some of these images I put on here. I just had the sensors adjustable on it, so I had to turn the screw in one turn, and it focused everything back right. So I finally got that straightened out. And uh, This thing does take battery. Somebody asked me about it. You just take this cover off and it's got the battery packs going there. But I don't use the batteries because batteries are expensive and if they go dead right in the middle of your imaging, you'll have to start all over. You'll have to put batteries in, realign it, get back, center it back in your frame. It, it just ain't worth it to me. I'd rather just plug it in. So when I travel, if I go up somewhere else, I got another place I go to, I got a little... 200 watt inverter. I think it was 40 bucks. I mean, it's cheap. And a deep cycle marine battery that I pulled out of my boat from my trolling motor. Got two plugs on it, camera and the telescope. I ran that two nights in a row from sundown to sun up. And it still had perfect charge on it, so that's not a problem. Uh, as far as it taking the, the best pictures, it's not like the $2,000 rig or a refractor or anything, it, but it takes decent pictures. I put all the pictures I've taken so far on the, on the this video, and you can see that it does all right. You'll be able to see the stuff in the sky that you want to see. And, uh, but yeah, it's a, it's been a pleasure to use. I really like it. I hate that the price is so high on it. I didn't realize it was that high because, you know, I bid on this and got it for $215 did not realize they were that high but uh, as far as using it if you spend the money on one maybe you can find one used you will use it where as you buy a cheap telescope you know a little cheap refractor or something without the go-to on it or anything you you're, you're going to be disappointed and it's probably going to go in a closet so you're really wasting money that way. So, yeah, this this is a, a pleasure to use, a pleasure. So, all right, I'm gonna wrap this up. If anybody wants me to make another video on this thing about some kind of feature or something on it, I'll be happy to do it. But other than that, this is probably the last video on this one. Uh, I put a bunch of them images on there. All, all the ones I've taken so far, I'll put on this video and uh, show you the journey I've been through with it. And it's not been a long journey, and and a lot of these pictures are just short, not not very much integration time on them, 
because I just wanted to get as many as I could on a clear night and uh, now I'm going to concentrate on getting a single image and spending a lot of time on that single image to see if I can just bring out all the details and stuff and uh, that's my next project with this goat. Alright, let me know if you need to see anything else on this goat. I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching.